Hey guys, thanks for checking out the videos. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, Radio DJ and uh, I'm going to help you set up Radio DJ and get you started. So this is like pretty much after you've already installed it to your pro your computer and you're having some issues trying to get music and all that stuff in your content on uh, Radio DJ and I'll show you how to do that. I'll also show you how to uh, set up uh, a track rotation, also help you set up a um, event. So if you got commercials or like shows that you got scheduled to come in, uh, you can uh, schedule them into Radio DJ and not worry about it. It'll uh, play it on its own for you. Uh, I'll also show you how to build um, a playlist and I'll also show you how to set up all the instant players, cart machines and stuff like that and all the fun stuff that goes with um, Radio DJ. Also, um, I'll show you how to put your custom logo into the corner here, at the top here, and it's very easy and very simple, and I'll show you how to do that. And also, um, yeah, we'll just pretty much go through as much as I can show you about Radio DJ. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share the video, uh, put your click the like button too as well, and uh, if you got any future videos, if you want me to do, uh, just send me a quick email at djdrj at power92fm.ca uh, with a suggestion, and uh, we'll uh, try and do a video about that. Also, if you want to put a comment in the bottom of a suggestion of something that you want to see done, you can do that too as well. So hang tight, guys, and then uh, we'll get started with Radio DJ. So uh, the Radio DJ program that I'm going to be using in this tutorial is... Um, the latest version of Radio DJ, which is version 1.8.20. And um, if you haven't downloaded Radio DJ, do that now. You can find that at www.radiodj.ro um, or you can just search Google Radio DJ software and click on the one that's um, not the first one. It'll be the third one down, I believe. Uh, and it is an absolutely free software, so you don't have to worry about spending any kind of money. But if you love the program, send them a donation because that's what they're looking for. So um, install the program, install the MySLQ, and then once you've all done that, we'll get started into importing all your music. So hang tight. Okay, guys, we're back now. Uh, so uh, once you've downloaded the program and you've opened it up and launched it and everything's working properly, it should look like this. So um, the biggest thing and the biggest problem that people were having is they were finding that it was hard to uh, import music into Radio DJ. And it's very simple. Just go down to the bottom corner here where it says Track Manager. And you want to click on Track Manager. And up here, there's uh, four tabs up here, File, Edit, Reset, and Import. You want to click on import and this is where it can get a little tricky you can either uh, import a track at a time or you can do a whole entire folder at a time um, at the beginning i suggest probably doing folders uh, while you're putting dumping everything in there um, just because it'll make it a lot easier and faster for you it will take a longer time to up import but um, the folders will uh, it'll be just done in a big lump sum so it'll be easier so I'm gonna click on the folder button now this radio DJ program that I have on this computer is absolutely empty and I don't have anything on it so I'm gonna do it with you guys uh, so you can see how it's done so to import a folder if you got a specific folder of music that you wanna import into this computer what you do is you click on the little uh, uh, envelope button down there click on that and that's going to bring up uh, where you want to browse all your folders for. So in this computer, it's um, actually, sorry, in this computer, it's in my hard drive. Now, here's a good uh, uh, tip for you guys for Radio DJ. Once you've imported all your music, do not move your music around in um, on your hard drive after you've imported it to Radio DJ. If you do this, Radio DJ is going to, not be able to play the track it's not going to be able to find it so make sure you have everything set in your hard drive where you want the music to be and then once you've done that start importing stuff into uh, radio DJ so now that uh, I've said that let's pull out a track here or something I'm gonna pretend that this is power 92 FM and we're gonna load uh, 
we're gonna load some jingles in here it's just so that uh, it'll be quick so um, find the appropriate folder that you want and hit OK now this is where you can categorize all your music in radio DJ and this is where you can set everything up so that uh, it's easy for you to find it and uh, it also will be easier for you to make track rotations so um, because these are jingles that I'm going to import I'm going to import them as jingles so you can move your categories down from here from the category one now you have the choice uh, well you only have the choice of uh, setting it as station jingles but uh, I will show you in a later video or later in this video probably on how to make your own subcategories in radio DJ so right now let's just have it set as station jingles and then I'm going to hit down here import directly directory sorry and it's going to search and it's going to start importing all the music into or all my jingles into this thing here so we'll import that in there now this could vary on as long as it could take as long as uh, as many jingles or whatnot that you have or music that you have so be prepared that this may take a few minutes um, okay so now now that we've uh, done that let's import some music to uh, to the program so I'm just gonna import uh, a very small uh, folder of music so it won't take very long and this of course is going to be music so I'm going to change this to music the category and uh, we'll tell we'll say that this is top 40 music and I'm gonna hit import so as it's doing this and in, in finding all the tracks that's in there um, then what we will do is uh, I'll show you how to um, edit the tracks uh, to what you like so in putting uh, intros and outros and also making sure that uh, all the the uh, titles are correct and, and stuff like that so we now have music and jingles on the computer or on the program we will uh, now start to edit them so in the track manager view um, this is where you can do all this to do this just change your category from up here so let's say we're doing music and uh, we're gonna do top 40 because that's where the music is at so here's where the songs are on uh, radio DJ for the music now to edit these tracks it's very simple uh, you can do it in two ways you can either double click on it and a window will open a track editor window will open or you can right click and then click on edit track and that'll bring that window back up so this is pretty straightforward uh, settings details sweepers comments our album art and others and stuff all you really need to know about is the settings here details and the the Q editor button in details this is where you would make sure that your tags are correct on the song and you can also put album um, you can put uh, uh, the year that it came out the BPM whatnot and then for settings what I like to do in my station is in my top 40 rotation I set my music to um, like the, the the most popular songs I'll set them as a priority at 90 and, and that's this is what it would look like so I would go I would go 90 whoops go 90 dot zero and then that would be a um, high priority track and then to um, edit the track what I would do is I would hit Q editor I always add an intro into my tracks so that when I'm talking on air I know when to stop talking and then the artist will start singing again so to do that uh, I clicked on the Q editor button it brings up the waveform window and this shows you where the songs gonna start where the songs gonna end and it's also going to show you um, like it's also going to show you where you can put in intros or you can put in a loop a hook a hook out an outro and then you can set your own out 
points where the songs will mix out from. For instance, I'm th at this point, I'm only just going to do the intro. So what I do is I hit play. I've played with feet and then because there's talking in the beginning there, I know that that's not where I want. I don't want that in the beginning of the song. So I think the beginning of the song is going to start over here. So let's have a listen. Pretty close. So to move it more towards this way, to get it towards that, what I do is I hit this button here and it moves that cursor to get it closer and precise. So that's where it could be a little bit better. So just like that. So there's where the beginning of the song will start. Now, let's see where we can set the intro. So when he starts singing, that's when we'll stop the uh, intro. So let's start it. Click on the intro. Okay. So he started talking there. Did you see what I did? I clicked this button here to set the point where the intro is. So now let's just fix it and make it more sharp. We'll push play again. So there you go. So now once you click on the intro button and hit play, it should be right where he is singing. So that works out perfect. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that this here, save waveform data with audio file, make sure you save this because if for any reason that radio DJ decides to crash, all this stuff that you save in here is going to um, be saved with the audio file. So when you have to reload everything in, it'll all be there and you don't have to do all this work ever again. So we hit uh, save and then once everything is all saved in, or once everything is all the way you want it to be, um, then click save. And that's now going to save all that information that you just did into this track. So that track has been edited and uh, has been edited and uh, ready to go for on air use. So um, hang tight, guys. We'll, after this, we will go in there and I'll show you how to do a track rotation next. Okay, so in this video, in this part of the video, we're going to show you how to um, set up your track rotation. Before I set up the track rotation and show you how to get that done, I'm going to explain what track rotation really is. Basically, track rotation is um, so that when you're not running the station, it will run it for you by automating and picking all the music itself. Right now, Radio DJ is set for uh, manual use right now. so. If I wanted to, and if, if, if I wanted to play a song, all I would do is I would go to where the music is. So change uh, here in this tab where music is and make sure you go to the proper um, one that you're looking for. And then we want to uh, play a song and it's easy. Either double click on the track or drag the track and drop it into there. And then to play it, you push uh, one of these green buttons or you can push up here to start playing it. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to do uh, with the copyright fringes so we will just leave that. So let's start um, the track rotation off. So go down to your options tab at the bottom and you're going to click on track rotation. Once this window opens up uh, we'll get rid of all this and make a new one. What I like to do on my station is I play um, a jingle, then I play a song, then I play a jingle, and then I play a song. You don't have to do it that way, but that's the way I do it, and that's the way I like, uh, that's the way I want the radio station to sound. I always want people to know who they're listening to. So to do that, I'm just gonna go to jingles, and I'm going to click on this very, the second last tab, and I'm gonna change that to random. So it's just randomly gonna pick any kind of jingle. And then I hit this green plus button here, and that's going to bring that part into the rotation. So now I'll, I'll add some music, go to top 40, and we'll do this one at random. Or if you had set all your priorities, you can do that by going uh, 
and setting uh, by priority. You can click on that one. But in this case, we haven't done that. Uh, I just showed you how to do one. So let's just do random and then hit the plus button. And then it's going to bring that music track in there. I'm going to add another jingle in here. And then at random and then hit the plus button. And then some more music at random. Hit the plus button. And... Uh, Maybe we can add another music track in there at random plus. So this is a, a good start of a basic um, rotation. So what I would do here is uh, you can save your rotation by clicking on that button there. And you can name the rotation, you can replace a rotation with a rotation that's already there, or you can delete rotations through here. So if I wanted to delete this rotation, just open up the options here and go to track manager or track rotation, and then click on the save button before you do anything. And then you can go in here and you can delete out uh, rotations if you want to. So let's just call this the top 40 rotation, top 40. And then I'm going to hit save. Boom, so it's saved. We close that. Now, uh, I'll bring my, I'll uh, go back to here. And now to change, um, to change a rotation, so if you have several different types of rotations, you can change them by up here by going to um, vinyl or going to, so there's the top 40 rotation that we just did. So you can change your rotations up here. So sometimes on my station, I'll do like classic rock weekend or I'll do 80s weekend or whatever it may be. And uh, with doing that, um, I can simply just go back and forth through um, rotations by just clicking here without going in here and manually setting a rotation every time um, I want to do a new genre of music on the station. Um, Okay, so that's how to set up the rotation. So now that we've done that, we'll uh, set up the um, events so that you can run commercials or a radio show that you have uh, running that you want to run and you don't want to worry about keeping ongoing and, and putting it in there. So we'll, we'll show you how to set all that up, set up some events. Okay, so let's add an event to Radio DJ now. So to add an event to Radio DJ, I believe there's two options on how to do that. You can click on options down here in the options tab and click on events. And this window will pop up or you can double click this big window here and that events window will open up. To add an event, so let's say if you want to add a commercial event to play every hour, to do that, this is how I do it. I click on the plus button down here. It's going to bring up this other window here. So I'm going to name this rotation event commercials. And then what I'm going to do is because I want this to reoccur every hour on the hour, I'm going to do repeat by day by hour then you'll see more windows here are opening um, as you're adding stuff. Uh, okay, so I like to set the commercials to happen at 55 out, like the 55 when it hits, like, say, for instance, if it's 3 o'clock and it's 3.55, that's what time I want the jingles to play or the commercials to play for five minutes, and then we'll bring in the new hour. So that's how I do this doesn't matter how you want to do this. It, like I said, there's no wrong way of doing this. It's all about your own preference. So, um, but this is how I do it. So I've done that. I make sure all these are clicked off and these are all the individual uh, hours. So like this is, now this is going to be done in army time, but uh, this is one o'clock in the morning and this would be one in the afternoon. So to add um, tracks into the event scheduler, you're going to click on the green plus button 
and it's going to open up a, a list of options of what you want to do. And this is all about trial and error for yourself. Play around with all these settings if you want and figure out what works best for you. But it's pretty straightforward what you want it to do. So I wanted to I wanted to add some some commercials. So we're going to load tracks individually. So let's load a track. We're going to go to commercials. I've already added my commercials to this uh, radio DJ. And here are all the commercials for uh, Power 92 FM. So let's add a commercial. So let's add the Mad Canada one. And then we're going to go add action. Then to add more in here, just repeat the process. Add a track. Find your commercials. And let's do... Um, Let's do never forget photo. Add it in there. Hit add. Vice versa. Just keep going until you've entered the amount of commercials that you want to run at that for that commercial spot for that event. So we're just going to add a few more just to show you how it's done. And commercial. No, not promos commercials and then we'll, we'll do this one here now uh, I just want to show you too and give you kind of a, a little um, I don't know I guess maybe a little tip I guess but if you are running a rotation and say you want to switch to like a classic rock rotation you can set the event scheduler this thing here to um, to switch rotations and clear the playlist and reset it so that it'll be at the top of the hour. It'll be a whole new um, genre of music. Say if you want to play blues an hour and then you want to play 80s for a couple hours and the, it's all totally up to what you want to do. But this is how you would uh, change that around through this program. I only use it for commercials and for radio shows if there's a, a, a guest show coming up. That way I won't forget to put it on air and that way um, it takes a lot of the all kinds of stuff to do when you're doing everything by yourself so it's a very useful tool so then just hit add action and now that this is all the commercials that you're looking for to use then what I would do is I would say add event and then it says event has added successfully and then you hit OK and then you'll see down in radio DJ now at the bottom you'll see that this is counting down so when it gets to uh, the next hour at 55, the commercials will load up into the playlist here. And if you're an auto DJ, it will automatically start playing those commercials um, after the event that's playing. It's not going to cut. Uh, so for instance, if it's halfway through a, um, a, a John Petty song and then the commercials are supposed to come on at, at 55, but there's a song playing at 55. It's not going to cut that song out and play the commercials. It's going to let that song finish. Then it's going to play the commercials and then go back onto your rotation. So um, that's that's how you set up event scheduler. It's it's really not that difficult. It's, it's really easy. It's like kind of like uh, real quick steps and doing this and this program is going to save you so much time and hassle when you're doing this by yourself so now that we've looked at that let's look at how to build a playlist building a playlist is really simple it's just like adding a track event but it's going down to the build list uh, uh, playlist builder by clicking on that tab and it brings you in this new window which is going to show you um, where all that your songs are at the top here so this is where you're going to find all your stuff you can also search by typing stuff in um, once you found songs that you want in your playlist so say for instance we have this playlist here of the songs and you want to put these songs in your playlist so all you do is double click double click double click double click double click or you can drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop it's uh, it's very easy uh, and you don't have to worry about putting this in order if you don't want it in order or if you want it in order you can just drag and move it up 
Um, but if you like, like what I do is I'll just make a big playlist and then I'll right click on the playlist down here and I'll shuffle playlist a few times. And by doing this, it's just going to make a good even shuffle of all the tracks that are in here in your playlist. So it, it, it'll be, um, it won't, you won't have like, say for instance, you won't have two Justin Bieber songs back to back unless that's what you want to do. Um, but that's, that's what, how I do it. And then there's no good way or bad way. It's whatever way works best for you. Um, so to save that playlist, what you want to do is you want to go up to file and hit save, save playlist. And, um, we're going to call this, um, we're going to call this uh, top 40, let's say top. 40 might as well just stick with that top 40 and then save so this list is saved now to get to this list um, from this main screen here it's very simple just down here the folder click on that and you see it's highlighted you can you know get to whatever playlist you have however many you want to make now say for instance if there was a bunch of songs in this uh, queue section here and um, you wanted to put your playlist in at the top of the what's queued, you can, or you can put in the bottom of what's left in the, the queue, or you can replace the entire queue. I usually just do the bottom of the queue, but for instance, there's nothing here, so we'll just do top. And if I hit open, we should get a playlist generated over here. And there's your playlist. Now, if you're, like I said before, when we were doing the track rotation, to get this list to play on its own without you worrying about pushing play or anything like that, all you would do is click these two and it would go in the green and that's in full automation. I'll show you how it is. Then we'll cut it real quick because I don't want it to, you know, with the copyright. So this is what it will, ha this is what will happen if you go into um, manual or auto and um, auto automate. God, tongue twister. Here we go. Oh, I guess it wouldn't play. I guess you have to actually hit the start button and that's when um, this list will just continue playing. So let's, I'll show you real quick how that is done. So there's one song playing. I'll bring it right to the end. And I'll show you a mix of it out itself. Here it comes. So just like that. You used to call me on my it's that simple. As long as you set it up, as long as you set it up the way you want to set it up, then you'll have absolutely no problem with this program. This, you can walk away and this program will run your station for weeks, for months, for years until you actually tell it to do something different. It will not change doing what you want it to do until you tell it to do something different. Or unless, of course, your computer does a, or, um, uh, an update and it restarts, which, you know, sometimes happens. But for the gist of it, this thing will pretty much run your computer 24-7, run your station 24-7 without you having to worry about, you know, anything. Um, okay, so we've gotten the playlist done. Now, um, I'll show you... Uh, next, how to set up your instant player and your cart machines. So if you want to add sound effects or if you want to add um, your jingles into this stuff here so it's easy for you to cue them off when you're doing a live show like I do, then, uh, then I'll show you how to do that next. So keep it locked. Right after this, we'll do our carts and instant players. Okay, let's set up our instant players, our cart machines now. This is very easy how to do this. Two ways to easy do this is uh, either right click and load cart by clicking on that or you can just click on the cart if it's empty and it'll open up uh, another window. Uh, and this is very simple. Just locate where your sound effects or jingles are and um, for instance they're all in jingles and click on the one you want. So We'll click on that one there and hit OK. Or sorry, hit Add. Should go in there. And then uh, 
then you can continue on doing it and so forth to the rest of them. So we'll just add, we'll add, we'll add a couple here and then, and we'll show you something else about this. Uh, I do this, uh, just cause when I'm doing a live show, I just have a big playlist here and I'll be playing the jingles from here and, uh, letting the music play from here. So now that you've filled up your cart section, say this is all full and, um, you can change the colors of each individual cart. So like if you have a, uh, like a, uh, like a couple rows of say they're just G DJ drops or they're just sound effects, you can color all the sound effects to your liking. So if you want to make your sound effects, um, if you want to make your sound effects all red, you can do that by right clicking, click on color and then click red, click okay. And that'll change that to save all your cart. So once you've gotten everything set up the way you want it to save the carts, it's very simple. Just click the little, um, save button down there, which it looks like a disc. Click on that name this, uh, let's say we're going to call this, uh, the Dr. J we'll call that Dr. J there we go. And then hit okay. And then there you go. That cart is saved. So to access all your carts, you just click the drop down menu here and we'll go to Dr. J and boom, there's my carts there. Easy peasy. And it's going to save you some time. And it's also going to make you sound professional too. If you've got like sound effects and stuff here. Um, the only disadvantage that I find that I wish that, uh, you, you could do was like a loop option where you could put like a music bed in here and just have a loop option and it'll loop it until you stop it. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty good. And then, um, you also have the option of three, uh, three other players, auxiliary players. So they could be songs that somebody sent you in an email and you still haven't had time to put them on your uh, playlist or your database. And what you could do is you could just simply take, um, you can just simply take an MP3 and, uh, drag it and drop it in there and, um, you can play it from there. It's that simple. One other quick thing too, I want to show you in radio DJ before I show you one other cool thing, um, in options, you can go to shortcut, uh, directory and you can now, um, map out your uh keyboard with shortcuts to fire off stuff so if uh for instance like you got the uh start button for um the first auxiliary player so you can change that to whatever you want so on your keyboard you can hit a hot cue onto that uh, and this is also mappable to um, MIDI controllers. So like if you have like a, a, a drum machine or a pad machine, you can uh, um, set the pads for these hotcues. So that's another really cool thing that you can integrate in your studio. So, and that's it's really easy. Just uh, so if I wanted to add a key, all I would have to do is, <clears throat> I believe it's double click on the key and then Let's say I want it to be the, uh, let's say we want that key to be the P button on my keyboard. So I'm going to hit P and that's uh set the P button. And then what you have to do is you have to hit modify and then boom, it's modified and then hit save. And then now if I put something in this player and and push the P button on my keyboard in, in a sense that will play that track without me hitting the play button with my mouse. So that's really cool. That's something that, uh, that you should look into because I have that all set up with my, uh, main studio computer. Now, the other cool thing I want to show you real quick before we end this video, cause I don't want to make this one too, too long is, uh, this thing up here, you can uh, replace this and make this your own logo, which is really cool because then this is like something that will make you stand out uh, when people come and visit your studio. Uh, they'll see that you have your own logo like stamped into like a, an actual software program, which is really cool. And to do this, very simple, we're going to close down Radio DJ. 
And of course, we're going to get rid of that crap. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your radio DJ folder that comes with the program when you download it. And you'll see that there's a little um, picture inside the folder that says logo. Make sure that your the logo that you're going to replace it with must be uh, the same dimensions as the uh, radio DJ logo. The radio DJ logo is 200 by 73. And it does work best in, um, in a transparent logo. So keep that in mind for when, uh, for when you're doing that. So what I've got here is I've already got this done. <clears throat> and there's the radio DJ logo I'm going to replace it with. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it and put it in, uh, the radio DJ folder that comes with radio DJ. And then what you want to do, uh, sorry, I'm going to, just do this. I'm going to copy and paste it because I don't want to, I don't want to actually lose that logo that I've got there. So copy and then paste inside radio DJ. Where's the paste button? There it is. Sorry guys. And okay. So then my that's the new logo that I want to replace it with. The key to this is to make sure that it's the same dimensions and you have to make sure it's labeled the same as this radio DJ logo. So I'm just going to delete this logo because we don't need that no more. And then I'm going to rename this logo, just logo and hit enter. And then all you do is you, Close all this off and reopen Radio DJ. And it should replace Radio DJ's logo with your logo now. So let's check to make sure that that happened when we did this. As it loads up, boom, look at that. Your own personal logo at the top. So this is something that you should look out for because this is really cool. This program will literally like make your life a lot easier running your station. So. Um, I hope this video um, worked out for you guys. Like I said, please subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, also share too as well. Uh, and if you have any videos that you want me to do, um, just simply send me an email at djdrj at power92fm.ca and uh, or leave a comment down at the comment section below here and uh, we'll do our best to get that video up. Also keep it locked to the channel too as well because coming up we're going to be doing a video where we're going to tear down the entire studio and make sure that uh, like we'll hook everything up in the video uh, and go through it as more of an update version from the old previous 2013 video. So keep it locked for that YouTube and uh, just remember subscribe to the channel because that's going to help us out and share the videos. Uh, hope you liked the video and we'll see you on the next one.